Hello and welcome to this video on creating an assignment tool within Moodle. Once I've logged into Moodle, I'm going to navigate to the unit and then turn editing on. Within the correct topic space, click add an activity or resource, choose assignment which is the top activity and select add. I'm going to give this a name uh, and in this case it's an online submission and then I'm going to give it a description which I'd normally use to outline what it is I expect the students to submit. So in this case I'm asking them to submit a 1000 word essay. I'm now able to hide topics once I've finished with them so what I'm going to do is actually close down the general area and then I've just got the availability next to fill in. The first date range I have is allow submissions from uh, this is obviously when the students can start submitting their work. The next is the due date. This is when uh, it is expected to be in. And the cutoff date allows you to give them a grace period where they're able to submit the work, but it may very well be capped or considered late after the due period. I'm now going to hide the availability. Now that is all set. And submission types. Standard would be the file submission where they upload a file to the assignment. You could use it as an online text where they maybe have to type in their uh, work. You could use this maybe in an exam situation. And by turning them both off, what you're doing is creating a submission area within Moodle where the student doesn't submit something, you may be assessing them though. For example, they may be doing a presentation where you need to grade them and have that grade within the Moodle environment. I've set the submission here to two files to be uploaded. Uh, and feedback types, I'm going to select them all but I will not explain them in this video they will come uh, within the how uh, the grading system works within Moodle in a separate video. The next section is submission settings. When you require a student to click the submit button they will be able to upload their file but it will be held as what's called a draft submission. Unless they click the submit button it is not considered submitted for, uh, for assessment. This has caused a few problems in the past where students may have uploaded and thought their work has been submitted. However, by not clicking the submit button, the academic has not been able to read the work. Requiring the students accept the submission statement uh, basically is a paragraph where they say the work is their own and that they may be submitted for plagiarism or originality checking as well. Attempts reopened. Uh, that by default, they never reopen, but you can manually change that and have more than one sort of attempt uh, for, for their work. Students are now able to also submit in groups. If this is selected, uh, do you need the students to all submit as groups together or will one person just submit for everyone? With notifications, uh, notifying graders or the lecturer about submissions is not turned on as standard as anyone who has a lecturer role within Moodle will get that um, particular notice. Turnitin is now a feature of the Moodle assignment tools. You can turn that on so that you will then get, when the work is submitted, an originality report to the Moodle environment. This should look very familiar to those people who have used Turnitin before. If not, you're able to go through this particular section and just choose which papers uh, it is checking against, be it against the internet, journals, uh, and other stored papers within Turnitin's environment. If you're going to use the grade mark feature of Turnitin to mark rather than the Moodle environment, you're able to also add a rubric if you use a rubric scale for marking too. Anonymous marking is set to yes as default. Again, this it kind of helps in both cases as there will be blind marking uh, within the assignment tool of Moodle, but also for those people who have submitted their originality report settings, it will also keep that anonymous as well. So it was, remains anonymous throughout the process. Within grade, I'm doing a point scale, so out of 100, and I can change my maximum points. I'm going to use simple grading, but if I was going to use Moodle for the marking rather than turn it in, I also have here the marking guide or a rubric, which again I'd create from this environment, however they are both separate. So if you're using a Turnitin rubric, it will not integrate exactly the same as the Moodle rubric is there. To make sure blind marking on is on within Moodle, which is anonymous marking in Turnitin, it's the same thing, just a different title or definition. 
There is now also use marking workflow and use marking allocation. These will be explained in another video in detail. However, the outline of it is for multi-market units, you are able to set up the workflow for all those uh, academics so that they only mark the papers they are meant to mark. Common module settings relates to the groups if you're having groupings within uh, this. However, that is also explained in a separate video. The restrict access allows you to add date ranges for when the overall resource is available to be seen. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.